and good morning, good morning, good morning to one and all. It is a pleasure again to be here. It, you know, I'm always, always happy for the opportunity. You know, it comes once every two weeks or so, sometimes depending on, on, on things. But, you know, the fact that God allows me to be in your presence at this time, that God allows me to be in your spirit, Peace. God allows me to be a part of your waking moments, a part of the, 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 the dynamics of your waking up and your, and your articulation through the morning so that at the end of the day, you have a day that pleases God. I am so glad to be in your presence. I'm so glad for the opportunity and I thank Almighty God for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. I also just want to take the opportunity to also thank TIN for the work it is doing. I really want to thank TIN for the, for the lovely opportunity it has for the people of God to be able to hear the gospel on a continuous basis. Being able to hear of the things of God by just changing a channel or switching to a channel. You know, I really, really want to thank God for, for, for Minister Cordell McClure and his wife and his, his lovely family for, for hearing God in this matter. And I declare that this matter, that this opportunity, that this medium in the name of Jesus, this form of media, this, this, this tool of ministry, shall never fail in the name of Jesus, shall never go weak in the name of Jesus. But in fact, it shall expand. It shall um, deliver to more and more people. And at this time, I also want to say a happy, 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 wonderful good morning to the people of Guyana in Channel 2 right now that are hearing the broadcast, that are experiencing the broadcast all the way from, or could I say all the way? Yes, maybe I can say all the way from a little island called Tobago, a part of Trinidad and Tobago. And we really, really want to thank you guys for tuning in. We want to thank God for what he's doing. And I declare that TIN is going to increase, continue to increase its borders. For those of you that look at us on the, on the, on the World Wide Web, those of us that tune in through the, through the app, I really want to thank God for you. <clears throat> it is going to be a glorious, glorious day. And God continues to, 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 to bless us. Ah, uh, this morning I, I I want to I want us to deal a little bit with, with leadership. Um, you know, it's John Maxwell that says that everything rises and falls on leadership. And 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 in this case I'm talking now about about political leadership and um and and as Christians we have certain luxuries and there are certain luxuries we do not have. One of the luxuries we do not have as Christians is that after the, the, the process of a general election and one gets appointed to office, the next process is that we are mandated to pray, support, and pray for our leaders. And sometimes I wonder if we do that enough. I'm not saying that we are robots and we have to agree with everything they say. But God, who knows better than we do, knows that, listen, we need to pray for those in authority so that we can actually live peaceable. You see, we, we're doing it not so much for your, for, for your own egos and for, and for the party you support. It's not that. The Bible suggests that if we should do this, then there is a, prob a higher probability that we will live in peace. Because you see, the thing is, is that the Bible says that the heart of the king is in the, ha is in the hand of God. And, and, and God has the ability to, to twist it, to, to turn it, to do that which he does. But sometimes we need to pray for that heart to be able to be malleable, that heart to be able to, be, to, to listen. The Bible says that when Pharaoh 
should have let the people go. The Bible said that God hardened the heart. In other words, um, I, I, I used to look at that from a, from a perspective of one time and saying, but why would God, if God wanted the people of Israel to go, then why would he harden the heart? Why does he soften the heart of the Pharaoh and, and, and let them go? And, and I thought about that for a while and recognized that, the, that, that one of the suggested angles you could look at it is because of what God was doing, right? Pharaoh himself hardened his heart. And, and, and you know people like that. You know people that would treat you bad, treat people that would treat you rough only because of the Jesus in you. There are people that are going to rough you up, that are not going to want to give you opportunities, that would speak negatively of you. They would call you all kinds of names, not necessarily that they just will not like you. And it's really only because of what God means to you or what Jesus Christ has done in your life. In a sense, because of God, their hearts are hardened. So I'm just suggesting right now that in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that because sometimes you, you, you may have people that may figure that here's what, if I become in power, or if I become and I taste, and this happens all over the world, you, you, you taste the, the power of authority or the power of leadership. And as a result of that, you sometimes can get a hard in hand. And sometimes that's why we have to pray for our leaders. Sometimes we have to pray for them. You see, the thing is, is that I, but you know, there's this whole situation in the U.S. right now with Donald Trump and and the and the Democrats are are struggling, right? They are still politicking right now. You can see the the, the media, whatever, to 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 show how we shouldn't vote for Trump. The point of the matter, my U.S. friends, is that Trump is the president. There is no election. There is no 20, uh, 2017, is it 2017, 2016 election. Again, that is passed. Donald Trump won it. The important thing for the success of the United States, the success of the world, the success of Trinidad and Tobago and everybody that depends on, on, the, on the power or the, or, the, or the might of the U.S. is to make sure that the leadership of the United States and, and, and each of our countries work. So as a result of that, I declare, or I want to humbly suggest, that instead right now of, of, of tearing your leaders down, and I, I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not, I'm not pulling back from just the United States. I'm pulling back from just Trinidad and Tobago. I'm pulling back from just the Tobago House of Assembly. I am just saying that wherever you are in Guyana, right, wherever you are, right, it is important at this time to ensure that we do what we have been told and just pray for all those in authority and our leaders. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't, right? But that's good because the things of God are higher than the things of the natural man anyways. So it will not make sense <laughs> to us naturally, amen? But that's not what God calls us to do. God does not call us to make sense of things naturally. No, no, no. God has called us so that we can make sense of things in a God sense. The Bible admonishes us that the, that the mind that has been in Christ, let this mind that was in Christ Jesus also be in you. So we think like him. We think according to his principles. We think as best as we can at a God-like level. We think at a, at a spiritual level. We do not... Oh, our lives are not about 
existing as though we are animals and that whatever our instincts tell us and whatever our instincts say that that's how we operate no 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 that is not the luxury we have as christians we have to lead we have always been designed to be the salt of the earth uh, you know i was i was just thinking about it we the, sometimes what we try to do is we try to <laughs> Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for this. Sometimes as Christians, we complain about the, the taste of the food. We complain about the taste of, how, of, of, of our economy. We complain about the taste of the events in our lives. We contain, complain about the, 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 the state of crime. Uh, I, I, I'm saying state and I'm saying taste. Because at the end of the day, we complain that things aren't palatable. But it's not supposed to be palatable. That is why God sent us. Because if we took a little salt and we put it into the mix, then the stuff can taste a whole lot better. So as a result of that, my brothers, I just want us to understand that we have a mandate, and I declare in the name of Jesus that we are going to use it. We are going to use it. So I encourage you right now to pray with me. I encourage you right now to, to partner with us in prayer, to partner with those of us that are listening to us in Tobago. Hallelujah. Those that are listening to us on uh, the World Wide Web, so thank you, God, for those who are listening to us in Guyana. We are going to pray across the nations. We are going to pray right now collectively for our leaders. So, we're going to pray together. We're going to declare the word together. We are going to partner together. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you. We want to thank you for the nation that you have placed us. You have placed us here for, to be a salt to these people, a salt to the land. In the name of Jesus, we are placed here, O Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for placing us here. Thank you, O God, Lord, for establishing purpose in our lives. Thank you, O Heavenly Father, for making our society a little bit better, for being able to impact the life of that young person, that young child, being able to impact the life, O Heavenly Father, Father, of that politician, of that man, of that woman, being able to impact the existence of that organization, of that school, of that courthouse. God, Lord, being able to spread the love of Jesus throughout our land, being able to spread the love of Jesus throughout our nation, being able to let the man who needs to know, know that Jesus loves them. God, Lord, I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the mandate. I thank you in the name of Jesus that when everybody else can be sad or worried, we can smile because of the hope we have in you. Oh, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, oh, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you that if the economy doesn't show as good as it does, we can show them by our lifestyle. We can show them by our by what you are doing in all lives. And they can come to us and say, but how is it that you're doing it? How is it that you are digging wells in the place of famine in the name of Jesus and getting water and getting produce and being able to expand? How is it you're doing so that we can tell them of the love of God? 
We can tell them of the methods of God. And God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus that your thoughts towards us, Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, are for good and not for evil, O Heavenly Father. O Heavenly Father, to give us success, to give us a hope and an expected end. O Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. God, Lord, we want to thank you, O Heavenly Father. O Heavenly Father, for, 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 for the, the peace that reigns in our governmental um, system. O Heavenly Father, that our governments are stable. That our, that our, that our leadership, that our, our governance structure is not one, O Heavenly Father, where thousands die just to select God, Lord, we want to thank you for the peace that pervades and reigns in our lands in the name of Jesus. God, Lord, we want to thank you right now for our actual leaders, the ones that are there presently. I'm talking now about the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago and his government, the opposition and the and, the, and the, op the opposition leader and the opposition. God, Lord, I pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, for... for for the Prime Minister, is it the Prime Minister or the President of Guyana in the name of Jesus? The leadership there, O oh, Heavenly Father, and I declare oh, in the name of Jesus that he continues to be a good, a good son, man. I pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, for the leadership of the, of the Tobago House of Assembly in the name of Jesus and his, and his Chief Secretary in the name of Jesus and, and, and every member of the opposition. God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare right now that they shall be God-fearing and recognize that they are accountable to you, they are accountable to you for every decision and act in the name of Jesus. We declare right now that every one of them recognize. Just, 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 just infuse them with the with the knowledge and, and just a reminder because they know, they know, they know, they know that 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 they are accountable to you. Whether they want to believe you or not, the truth is, is that if the Christians put you in power, God, Lord, then you have a Christian mandate, even if you don't want to believe in Christ yourself. Right? And, and that's another word for us Christians, to make sure that we put people who fear God in power. So at the end of the day, they know there's no dichotomy in the understanding, there's no division in the understanding that they are leaders are accountable to God for every decision, every act they put in place. So if every decision is, 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 is accountable to God, then they must account to God, not to people, not to lobby groups, not to those that say that, 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 that all kinds of marriages are allowed. A man could marry a man if he wants, a woman marry a woman if he wants, she wants. No, 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 a man, a man, a man marry an animal if they want. Uh, um, children can, can, can do what they want. That, if at the end of the day those are the decisions you make, then I'm telling you that if the, if the lobbying group could, uh, could, 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 could could save you then by all means go but if you are if you are you if you are um accounted to god if you have surrendered to almighty god then i declare in the name of jesus that they're going to do your will god lord we pray oh heavenly father that they shall be honest in financial and ethical matters, tax matters, ethical matters, in the name of Jesus, that most of the, you know, you would agree with me that most of the, the economy of, of, of a country, most of the money spent, especially in countries that are out, like ours, are highly driven by government expenses. And as a result of that, it helps us, oh Heavenly Father, it helps us, brothers and sisters, to be able to pray that money management is a shrewd thing in the name of Jesus. That money that is spent is spent to the promotion of your people. And I'm not only talking, and we need to get out of the mindset, brothers and sisters, that the money must be spent to give us things. No, I, I prefer the money to be spent to help us produce things. In that case, we get the things we want, yet it empowers us. 
to be able to become more competitive as individuals. So it's not about a government importing everything and a, and a government importing all the skills, but government empowering its own people to be able to produce the end result that the people need. Hallelujah. 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 I, I, I want to declare that anybody you import to do something on your behalf has already been empowered, is most likely has already been empowered by their own country. Hallelujah. So we want to declare in the name of Jesus financial honesty. We want to declare in the name of Jesus economic honesty. We want to declare em empowerment of your own people in the name of Jesus. God, we declare in the name of Jesus, we declare a, a spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to lead the citizens. You know, the, the, the thing is, the Bible says one thing that, is, that, that, that I love. He says, if any man lacks wisdom, let him seek it. Let him ask. And God, Lord, you have declared and promised that once a man asks for wisdom, you are going to Give him unabated. You're going to give him without reservation because at the end of the day, you wish that we know how to navigate the situations that are put in our hands. And God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that our leaders have been given a mandate to be able to, de to, to make life better for each and every one of us. So God, Lord, give them the wisdom. Give them the sword leadership. Give them the understanding to make it work. And we declare that even if sometimes as a people, as an individual, we may not understand everything that is done, everything that, every decision that is made. We declare that it was made through the wisdom of Almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We declare in the name of Jesus that our leaders uh, shall seek pastoral care. Uh, 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 you know, when needed. Oh, Heavenly Father, that, that they know that here's what, they know how they can run to a man or woman of God and get counsel and get some, get inspiration, be able to operate knowing that there's a God. Oh, Heavenly Father, I declare in the name of Jesus that they can, that they will be able to run to counsel in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. God, Lord, you know, there's something that just got, just, 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 just got into my heart. Yeah, and, I would, and I would just share it. You know, if a leader has to, to come to you, then obviously he must really have confidence in you. He must have the confidence that you have what it takes to be able to, to, to advise him without personal agendas. But the only way for us as a church to really, really arise to that level is that we must not operate as though we need them so badly that we can't exist and operate without them. And I'm not saying that we do that all the time, but... The thing is, is that I want us as members to come to the level where, in truth, we can, we can work our resources in, in the kingdom in such a way that God expands us and we become such a powerful force that the members of every government respect us. But it's going to be hard for the government to respect us if everything we do as a church, everything we do as a church, we run to them for support. Because the thing is, is that we need for them to be able to come and recognize that, you know, the fact that they have a different source. The government must say, you know, they seem to have a source that is doing well for them. We aren't doing so well in our economy now. You know, we have not been able to get the, 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 the funds and the releases and that kind of thing. But, but the church is doing well. Let us get some advice on them. Let's, let's talk to them. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just said that for some, for some member of the church. <laughs> hallelujah, 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We declare in the name of Jesus that our leaders shall continue to be generous. They, they will have compassionate hearts for the poor and the needy. And, and yes, I know in Trinidad and Tobago we have a very strong social, a social net. Uh, some people may argue too strong. But the issue is, in the name of Jesus, that it is necessary that a government takes care of its poor and its needy. And God, Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, that we, that, 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 we, that we can look towards as much as we can, making it easier for those that are destitute, those that are, those that are um, in, uh, can I say, indigent. In the name of Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God, Lord, we pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that our leaders, when they recognize that they are incompetent in a certain area, they don't have the strength or they don't have the knowledge or they don't have the wisdom in an area, in the name of Jesus, that they can seek you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you. We declare in the name of Jesus that, that the right godly principles shall come to them in the name of Jesus, that from the right circles, God, Lord, that help comes to them. Godly help comes to them. Divine help comes for them in the name of Jesus. God, Lord, we want to lift up their health in the name of Jesus, that for each and every one of them, God, Lord, that their health shall continue to spring forward in the name of Jesus. God, Lord, we declare that there shall be clarity of mind, there shall be sharpness. We want our leaders to be sharp and quick, in the name of Jesus, we want them, O oh Heavenly Father, that when they go out into the different countries in the world, although they may consider our lands to be to be third world, but that the leaders are first rate, the leaders are intelligent, the leaders stand tall, the leaders, when they speak, others listen in the name of Jesus. That's what we pray for our leaders. And we declare right now in Jesus' name, power. To, the, to, the, to, 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 to our own chief sect in the name of Jesus. We pray, we pray power and enablement and wisdom and all these things, oh Heavenly Father, to our own Tobago House of Assembly because they are the ones that govern us here. And we declare right now in the name of Jesus that they shall continue to listen to the people. They shall continue to listen to the voice of God. In the name of Jesus, that they, where they are fallen short, that they shall speak for the people. God, Lord, we lift right now in that transportation system between Trinidad and Tobago. God, Lord, we declare in the name of Jesus that it is unacceptable. God, Lord, you know that it is unacceptable. God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, you who do all things right, you who do all things well, in the name of Jesus, I declare in the name of Jesus that wisdom shall come to the leaders in the name of Jesus and make this be an, make an end to this matter in the name of Jesus. God, Lord, we declare that there shall not be hours on the, on the, on the, on the airport Eight hours for some people, seven hours, six hours to get between Trinidad and Tobago. That's unacceptable. That is unacceptable, Lord. God, Lord, so help our leaders. Help them to be able to solve it. Because if they don't solve it, the people suffer. That is why we need to pray for them. God, Lord, in, 